video is all about the Mediterranean diet. It's going to attempt to tell you what it is, where it came from. You'll see a pyramid, a food pyramid, dedicated to the Mediterranean diet. You'll find out about food variations. You'll learn about a favourite to start with if you've never started, if you've never tried the Mediterranean diet before. And you'll also learn about disease prevention, losing weight, and equally important, we're going to go over some of the research and places where you can find your own information for the Mediterranean diet. More accurately, it's those 16 countries that you can see surrounding the Mediterranean Sea. Many in Malta, Italy, Greece, Turkey, and all of these countries in the northern part of Africa, and of course Spain. If you look closely at the Mediterranean diet pyramid, you can see the actual substantial differences between this diet and many other diets around the world. The Mediterranean diet is also well known at this stage for being disease preventative across a board of many known diseases to man today. It's important to point out here that the daily exercise activity is quite prominent inside this pyramid. It is necessary to be active on a daily or by daily basis in order for any diet or healthy diet to work successfully. This doesn't mean you have to swim Olympic lengths, it's walking is fine. Next we have bread, pasta, rice, couscous, polenta are the substantial base for the diet. Further on we see fruits, um, legumes, beans, nuts, vegetables as being a primary element within the Mediterranean diet along with olive oil. I should indicate here that this should probably say extra virgin olive oil, which is the dark green olive oil from the first crush. That's the preferred olive oil. Next we have cheese and yogurt, followed by the meat areas or the protein areas, which are fish, poultry, eggs and sweets. You can see this is a smaller part of the, py of the pyramid and that is then followed by meat. A ration of red wine is also allowable on this diet, but that doesn't mean you can consume a bottle at each meal. That means one to two glasses, preferably one. And of course, water is essential. These little glasses of what might look like be to be vodka are really glasses of water. There are many types of foods in the Mediterranean diet, and of course, olives is a very important element in the diet. From so many different types of food, ranging from Greek salads to delicacies beyond your belief. Yes, this is a healthy diet. Yes, there are no limitations in the Mediterranean diet. It truly is a taste sensation. If you're just about to get started with the Mediterranean diet and give it a shot, then one of the, my favourite meals is moussaka, often pronounced moussaka. This is uh, predominantly eggplant but an extremely enjoyable taste sensation. I'd recommend this be the first thing you try to eat. It's a Greek dish and it's very special. To help you along, I've allowed you access, of course, to a um, masaka recipe, which is very easy to follow. And you just scroll down the page, gives you all the ingredients here. And then following that, you can see there's a preparation. And of course, takes you through it step by step. That's on my site which is called the Mediterranean diet with hyphens by the way. If you move around the site you can see through these different um, silos or categories uh, a lot of information um, but certainly not as much as the book that I have available but let's not um, go into that at this stage. I'd rather just show you what the Mediterranean diet can do and some of the places where you can get information. And don't forget this one area to the right hand side called disease prevention. There's a lot there on strokes, blood pressure as you can see, um, fighting cancer, all sorts of areas and, and a lot of information about antioxidants and what you can do um, to help yourself along. To help you gain confidence in the Mediterranean diet, I've done um, a little bit of research here just to give you some exposure to some of the well-known names that are following the Mediterranean diet and researching it further from week to week. Uh, this is from the Harvard uh, School of Public Health as you, as you can see and has 
um, a lot of information here that you can go through yourself and you can find it on the internet. Uh, and you can see some of the prominent professors that have been involved in the research here. Um, and that's just from one particular source. And you can see this is the Harvard University homepage connection here. And you can find, at the time of recording this, uh, US News brought out some information related to the Mediterranean diet uh, and its ability to cut death from chronic diseases. Um, it's a good read and I'm not really surprised, and you probably hear it in my voice, because there's a lot of information coming out now about the Mediterranean diet. And I might raise the fact once more that this is not a diet made by any man or commercial um, entity to uh, create and, and, and market. Surely, I, I know that I'm marketing it to you at this very point, but at the same time, it is not designed by man. It is something that has been in place for thousands of years and the research is starting to show why the longevity in that region is so great and also the minimization of disease and cancer. Once more here's some information from the American Heart Association uh, which has a brief spiel on the Mediterranean diet and they are of course one of the most conservative organizations based on the fact that they have to be very careful. As you can see here, I've highlighted uh, a statement that they've made inside this article which says the incidence of heart disease in the Mediterranean countries is lower than in the United States. Death rates are lower too. I've moved to this page because this is actually a preview of my book on the Mediterranean diet. Uh, and I'll just quickly open it up so you can see the type of information that you'll be getting. As you can see here, the table of contents is quite extensive. It comes across this page, followed on to the next page, and an additional page, and of course, two pages further on. Um, at the bottom, you can see the beginning of the book uh, is firstly trying to make people aware of the fact that um, if they've bought the guide to lose weight, uh, they should know a number of things first before they start down that road. I can only guess that there will be um, one or a number of three reasons why you would be considering the Mediterranean diet at this point. One would be that you're trying to improve your nutrition um, and be a healthier person. Two, you uh, might be looking to prevent um, further disease injury to your body um, or trying to prevent it altogether. And thirdly, many people are taking up the Mediterranean diet now because it's a safe way of losing weight. Having said that, I'd like to make it very clear that you can overindulge in anything. And with a Mediterranean diet, it does mean that you should be controlling your portions. And why did I mention that? Simply because it tastes so good, it's easy to go back for thirds, fourths and fifths. And that's not how the Mediterranean diet works. But let me say to you, the evidence is there to, to use the Mediterranean diet to lose weight in a very healthful and nutritious manner. I'm going to close this video now um, with my site up on the page. If you'd like to come here and go to any one of these categories to learn a little more, please do. Um, if you're looking to uh, purchase some more information in the way of a guide that can help you be more accurate and enjoy many recipes, and, and uh, in the case of this document here, you'll get a 28-day diet plan. E-Diets is also um, another organization has developed a, a Mediterranean diet guide, which is very helpful and they're an established, well-recognized and um, held in high esteem as a dieting company. And of course, the Sonoma diet, which is this banner here, supplies a diet which is very similar to the Mediterranean diet and it is, I guess, slightly modified to suit today's um, societies. I recommend that you perhaps have a look at all three if you're looking to take this more seriously. Um, but do have a look around the site to begin with to see if there's any other information there that can help you. Also, over here on the left hand side you'll find that there are a number of other books and information to help you further. Here's one here on the Sonoma diet which, can, which is again this one I showed you over here. Um, and I wish you all the best. Happy dieting, have some fun and stay healthy.